Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, HTTP session listener uh, demo. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, HTTP session listener uh, introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Uh, now I will show you the uh, code in uh, Eclipse. Uh, to explain HTTP session listener, I have created the project called uh, HTTP session listener demo. Uh, in this project in web.xml I have configured the servlet class uh, HTTP session uh, test servlet and uh, for that uh, URL pattern is uh, listener uh, test okay and I have configured uh, one uh, listener class also the listener name is my HTTP session listener first we will see uh, what is uh, HTTP session uh, test servlet so HTTP session uh, test servlet uh, is a servlet class uh, which extends uh, HTTP servlet and it has init method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet and it has a do get method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to process the request. Here uh, what I am doing is uh, I am getting the HTTP session okay, by calling uh, request.get session. Uh, so this time uh, session will be created and uh, after certain uh, sleep time i am uh, invalidating the session okay so this time uh, session will be destroyed and whenever a session is created or uh, destroyed i want to uh, know so i have created uh, one listener class that listener i have configured in uh, web.xml the listener name is my http session uh, listener okay so i am opening that so this uh, my HTTP session uh, listener which implements uh, HTTP session listener interface and uh, uh, it provide implementation of uh, session created and uh, session destroyed okay so whenever a session is created this method will be called uh, this session created method will be called and it will receive the event uh, HTTP session event okay and uh, from that event we can get the session which is uh, created that I am just uh, printing and also I am uh, printing the session information like uh, ID, max, uh, inactive interval etc. And uh, if a session is created, if you want to perform some uh, additional uh, operation that you can do it in this uh, method. Okay. And uh, whenever a session is uh, uh, destroyed, uh, this method will be called. Okay. So here uh, at uh, certain sleep, uh, I am invalidating the session right so this time uh, session will be destroyed so when a session is destroyed uh, this method will be called and uh, it will receive a HTTP session event so from that event we can get uh, which uh, session is going to destroyed and that session uh, information I am just printing here and uh, if a session is destroyed based on that if you want to perform some additional operation that you can uh, do it in this uh, method okay and I am going to uh, deploy this uh, application build project export exporting a server file and placing inside the tomcat uh, web apps folder I'm going to start the server Uh, server has been started okay uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL I am clicking on enter uh, it is displaying index.html content uh, index.html is nothing but a welcome page uh, and it has only one link uh, listener test so when you click on this uh, link uh, the request uh, goes to the server and the URL pattern is uh, listener test okay and uh, the server will forward the request to the servlet container the servlet container will check in web.xml uh, for the url pattern uh, listener test what servlet is configured uh, configured uh, servlet is uh, http session uh, test servlet uh, so the servlet container will initialize this uh, http session uh, test servlet then it will call the uh, do get method okay uh, so in do get method what we are doing is uh, uh, we are getting the http session object by calling request.get session method that time uh, session will be created and after certain sleep uh, uh, invalidating the session so this time uh, session will be destroyed 
so when session is created and when a session is uh, destroyed the listener will be uh, notified uh, that output uh, i am printing in the console that uh, we can see now okay so i am going to click on uh, listener test uh, link So you can see session uh, created method has been called in my HTTP session listener. Okay, and uh, this is the session information uh, which is created. And uh, after a certain time, I am invalidating the session, so session will be destroyed. Uh, so here you can see the output. Okay, session destroyed method has been called in my HTTP uh, session listener. So this is a session uh, which has been uh, destroyed okay uh, so this is about uh, http session uh, listener demo and uh, thanks for watching bye